guys, what's up? This is Easy Pictures to Draw. Today we're doing a caricature of Colin Kaepernick. Um, we're gonna do an under sketch, and then we're gonna go over it with uh, a marker. And I'm using this Prismacolor, Prismacolor marker. So let's go over the under sketch. You can grab whatever pencil you want. Uh, I haven't done a caricature on this channel for a while, so. Under sketch would be Look at here, he has kind of a long neck. You want to exaggerate that? In contrast with uh, the kind of afro shape. So, under sketch is just to get proportions. It's a quick pencil sketch that, and I'm literally going to slide this paper underneath my other paper. This is a very simple uh, printing paper. It's 11 by 17 tabloid sized paper, by the way. So, I'm going to be doing this just so I can look through it in a bit. Throw the lines here. He's got a pretty big nose. What I'm trying to do is I'm gonna just draw the general shapes, like I said. Chin. A pretty uh, angular jaw here. And the fro shape will be kind of around the top. I might I, I might do this thing where it goes off the page. I'm not sure yet. I might do that actually and just do the kind of thing where it goes off the page. Here. Uh, just kind of through the top of the shoulders, maybe like a football thing. But really contrast it with the, the round part of the fro with the, the skinnier part of the head. But that's the under sketch. So, what I'm going to do right from here is I'm going to grab this paper and I'm going to slide this underneath. Uh, this right here. I'm gonna slide it, and I can kind of see through it. You probably can't see it on the camera, but I can kind of see through it. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw over this with marker. And like I said, this is just a Prismacolor black marker. There's nothing really special about it. Oh man, this smells bad. I gotta open a window. The uh, the marker smells really strong. Start with the eyes. Is generally pretty small in comparison to the other features, like his, uh, you know, the fro. Drawing that pupil there. Are some people together? The other eye. You can't really see much eyelid because the eyelid. And uh, the eyelid kind of goes up to the point where it's it's thin enough where it kind of looks like a thicker black shape here because the eyelid is just kind of up in there because he's kind of squinting as well. I'm gonna fill that in and leave a highlight. I'm gonna throw directional lines right above it and as thin as I can for the uh, eyebrow. On the other side as well, go in the opposite direction. side of the bottom eyelid. A little bit of the bag of the V, uh, like slight kind of lines for, it's not really a huge bag in the VI, but just a bag. Go to his nose, his nose is uh, pretty large in comparison. His eyes are actually pretty close together, which is what I did. Pulling down here. Those angles down. He's got pretty uh, easy features to caricature because of, like I said, certain things. Like his eyes are close together, his nose is a little bit larger. 
so it's it's not too hard to to caricature him. Some faces are harder than others. Pull down on the side of his face here. Trace the jawline here. The mouth. I'm not sure if he's pursing his lips a little bit. And then another telling feature would be uh, the facial hair. I'm going to outline that really fast. It's kind of hard to see exactly where it is here, but it does connect. And there's a line above his lip as well. Meaning it's not just, it doesn't go right into hair, it's the lip. It's the lip and then Then the skin, then facial hair, because that that could make it look uh, potentially different as well. It might make him look like a, a different type. Also got to kind of take a look at that. It's not like a shaggy, raggedy beard. It's pretty. It's pretty clean. Let's go down to the rest of his neck. Oops. Collar here. He's got a pretty thick neck, I guess. Uh, full players tend to do that. Tend to have uh, thick necks. Kind of the football padding in this picture. And then up into his forehead. If you want to throw it the side of his ear, you can. be random with the uh, afro in terms of the, the, the bumps on it just try to be random as you can and I'm gonna throw a little bit more here kind of that layer I would fill this entire thing in, but I don't want to kill my marker. What you could do is you could go in with a colored pencil, or even this, this is just a black, uh, well this is kind of essentially a black colored pencil. You can go in to bring some value, even to a black and white image like this. Just throw a little bit of value differentiate it and if you know like I said you don't want to kill your marker your marker is good to you don't uh, don't use it all up on, on anything like hair or you know because sometimes I used to do that with Shamu Oops. that's some fell but uh, you know I'm gonna have it like I said going off the page here make it look like extra huge, you know? And I think that should be about it. Um, maybe throw some darks extra here, a little extra darks here. 
can always repair a couple of things, you know, like some lo broken lines, you can kind of connect those, but that's pretty much it. Thank you so much for watching this. I am gonna come out with a caricature program uh, eventually, and so I'll try to do some more caricatures on the channel, but thank you so much, guys. I will see you next time, um, and I'll talk to you soon.